Regressing press this point. So yes, if you don't, obviously, if you don't complete any quests, you can't come back and complete them later. I uh, know. Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got I gotta take this bat off. <laughs> I gotta take this bat off. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? <laughs> Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Lower. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Odd's mother. If anyone's wondering. <laughs> I gotta change the bat, dude. Don't want to overstay my welcome. <laughs> I gotta change this bet. I've gotta change it, man. Oh, I've gotta change it so much. My B, my B, my B. Let's go. Let's go. That was like two minutes wasted. <laughs> oh, this part. Yeah. So, there's literally just stuff sitting on the ground. If you touch any of this, and I mean any of it, which I'm probably gonna end up doing. Aerith, like, sticks you back in the room. But if you're careful enough, yes, you can just slip on through. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Forgot that since we didn't do all of Aerith's side quests, we didn't get to see this cutscene. But again, if you just want to see the cutscene, I have it on my first playthrough that it's still going to be on the channel. It'd still be up on the channel, so. That was just an MP up, so it's not too, too much of a worry. I did the lighting in this area, it looks amazing too. We don't have to keep using the Buster Sword. So, I just want to. I like the Buster Sword. Buster Sword and the Hard Edge are two of my favorite weapons in the game. If it isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. Where did it, like, switch positions with them just now? Took a bow. God, and then the upper plate, dude. Look at this. Still looks amazing. You hear all the metal creaking too. Who knew talking to the kids about the past would make me feel so sentimental? That's what happens when you get older. My twenty-two, but yeah, I know something about that.
Sometimes even just thinking about the past is sentimental. But Chadley's not here. So I have to wait and- Ah! Crap. I can't go back to the church, can I? Yeah, I can't. Shit, I forgot to grab that materia. Crap. I know that we'll be back at the church later, but god dang it, I forgot to grab that materia. It's another chakra materia, but I forgot to grab it. God dang it. Oh well. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We're good. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. Oh yeah. It's getting to a point where it's gonna be hard to try and keep some of this silent. <laughs> oh dude. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... The Aerith is talking about, because this is Sector 6 that we're in, so Aerith is talking about the collapse of Sector 6 while they're building it. It's in the Ultimania book, I I'm pretty sure as well, that it explains why Sector 6 is still... If I can get a good view of it real quick. Sector 6, I would see how it's missing that big chunk right there. Uh, hide the party. I was missing this big chunk right here. It's it's missing a chunk of the sector because as they were building it, it collapsed. And people... There was a couple people underneath and on top of the slums. As well. And when it collapsed, it killed everybody. So, so. Uh, but this is why Sector 6 has got so much garbage in it. And most of Sector 6 is actually inhabitable. Because of the fact that it collapsed so long ago and while they were building it. So this is this the only sector that's technically still under construction. So yeah. This sector has very limited pathways, but in terms of wall market, it's pretty much unscathed. And that's the underside of sector six, wall market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that. Right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Hmm. So, as we, like, progress in this next part, you'll see what I mean more about parts of sector six just being destroyed because this area is a good example of it too 
And Sector 6 is another good example of why there's so much trash around the area too. Sector 5 is just like a prelude to the, all the trash that you see, like in that scrap area. But this is a really good example of everything. There's just scrap, there's debris, monsters everywhere because it's uninhabited by people. So, I mean, of course, there's just going to be monsters everywhere. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. So, I mean, Sector 6, like, only collapsed, like, a couple of years ago, too. Before the events of this game, but still. No holding back. Now. Let's do this. And Sector 6 collapsed before the events of Final Fantasy 7, but it's still... Kind of fresh. I think it's I think it was like a couple of years, maybe like two or maybe no, okay, maybe like four or five years before. I could be wrong. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Here goes. One more shot. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta. I keep my distance. I didn't confuse it. <laughs> That's over. Oh man, I forgot about this. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Weird, like hand puzzle things. Forgot about these, dude. They're not bad. They're just weird. They're 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 the weirdest like puzzle in this game. I don't know if I like them very much. Oh great! Someone's pulled up the ladder. Ah yes, I see. I wonder if we can use this. Yes, you can. You can use the hand. It's just weird. <laughs> the worst thing is that as you progress on too, it gets like worse and worse. Cloud. In terms of how you have to Here's use this an thing. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now I'm getting confused. Hang on. <laughs> Just make her throw up for a second. <laughs> Sure. Stop. Did we wake it up? It's a robot. I don't know if you can wake up a robot. That's it. I got your number. This is a prototype sweeper, so kind of the same thing, but not. This one's got rockets. Ah, I can do it. I got this. It actually knocked me out of it. Better oh, getting shot. Take the lead. Here goes. Get him. That's it. I keep my distance if I were you. Go on. Okay, that only did 24. It's fine. You actually need to heal. Why don't you lead the way? No big deal. Die. Oh, that's weird. Used to be weird. Hi. 
forget how bad some of these things are sometimes. I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> I think dress wise that we're gonna end up getting for everybody because I think Tifa we chose the sporty club Not sporty club. We chose uh, the sporty dress for Tifa For Aerith we got her uh, Pink dress her second pink dress, which is her second best one Her cloud we haven't chose clouds yet, but we're gonna do clouds like white dress So it's dude it straight up makes cloud like it's like his princess dress <laughs> It's like Cloud's princess dress. We're gonna get it. We're getting that one for Cloud. <laughs> I feel like Cloud hates that one more. Come on. I'm coming. I got nothing. Ow. Let's do this. Dude, Disorder works great on the swords. Disorder is great for the nail bat too, but I like it whenever you use it on the swords too. So much fun. Oh, the item. Actually, I should forgot there's an item down here. Hey, a thousand gil. Speaking of gill, how much do we have? 13,000? Okay. I have to see how much gill we actually have because of one of the options that we have to choose for to get Cloud's dress. We have to choose options for uh, the massage that he's supposed to get. And it's either between 100, 1,000, or 3,000 gill. So, I think we have to choose the most expensive one to get his uh, Looks like a dead pink end. one. Pink, uh, white dress, sorry. That uh, Aerith on my mind. Smuggers! Right. Get back. I can fight too. No holding back. Uh, Cloud is silence. Right. Need a breather. We've gotta get through this. This one's for you! Ah, yeah, you can't use it because that's not the pebble! You'll see. That'll do! I'm not, I'm not fleeing. Go. It's just kicking me. I got this. Okay. Never again. Anytime now. Here it comes. Oh, don't get hit by that. Is there poisoned? I think she is. But can these things be poisoned? Oh, we know. Clap! No! Ah! Oh, I can't believe you. Get him! We'll make it quick. My bad. Eric's gonna get hit by that too. Sorry. Next time I won't let you down. Oh, she didn't. Good. Uh, my bad. Club. <laughs> my bad. I forgot that that happens. I didn't think he was going to be that close to it, either. Oops! See, that's why you don't stand near the self-destructs. <laughs> that's exactly why you don't stand near self-destruct things from the smoggers. Because they kill you instantly. Depending on how much health you have. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. If Cloud would have been at full health, it probably wouldn't have killed him, but it still probably would have done, like, half his health. Materia there. Is a crane operator or something? <sighs> yeah? Huh? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. I thought he's like, huh? Yeah. What is it? What? 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 Why is it always <laughs> gotta be so tough? 
Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Sometimes it'll hit objects too, so you okay, gotta be careful what you do. Ready. Like, say, I can't move. I shouldn't have been able to go through that, but whatever. I'm gonna have Eric get this. I don't remember what this is. Second. Isn't this a version materia? Binding materia. Gotcha. Where the hell do I get subversion materia? I'm trying to think where I get subversion materia. I don't remember. I really don't remember where I get it. I think it's I know it's later down the line in the game, but I really don't remember. I think binding is sleep materia, basically. Okay, right I can look. Here. Take off poison, put on binding. Hold on while I drop Because the there is a uh, there's a Chadley deal, a Chadley research deal that you have to do. That um, this game for fuck's sake. Um, there's a research deal that you have to do that actually is leveling up all magic materia in the game, and that includes like subversion, binding, poison. So, my fire and my wind material are... Fire, wind, and poison are actually almost level 3, so I'm gonna keep those in cloud then. But, yeah, binding... Yeah, binding is sleep. Or silence or berserk. Sleep would be useful on something, so... What's Aerith rocking? Healing, barrier, lightning. Barrier's almost leveled up. Healing's almost leveled up. Lightning's almost done, too. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put on Tifa and Barrett whenever Over I get to here. them again. Because the faster that I can get these leveled up and used, then the faster then I can probably complete that research, I think. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. E. But there's also this. Uh, yeah, Mega Potions aren't on sale yet. I hate that I actually might have to use this. For Barrett, it wouldn't be too bad, but for Aerith, it would. only like certain material you only get one of i think binding and subversion material you only get one of those materials unless you steal it from enemies i think okay then what do you guys hear from these guys phoenix down why oh, do you have wind right yeah you do oh, so can these be poisoned yes i can Keep it together. So it's my turn? I think we're almost done. Uh... Ouch. Got that. Try this. You're done. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's a bad Yeah, that, that whole, like, deal right there, too, is completely skippable. If you just come over here before actually going over there first, 
you can completely skip that whole area. Whoa, not too fast, okay? Like you can completely miss that music disc and completely miss that dialogue and those enemies if you don't want to do it. Which if it's good on like second playthrough if you just want to rush through, so. Excuse me, Aerith. God, dude. Look at how nasty the water is here. Dude, so, okay, so the pool that's here at my apartment area, it was literally that green. Like, that was gross, man. It was that green, and I have no idea why. No one's even been in the pool since they filled it up. Anybody it like around? A month and a half, almost two months ago now. Guess it's just like, it's us. so gross. It's not so green anymore, but it was so green. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing I love these guys. <laughs> I'd say world They're stupid but funny. <laughs> Cap him in a, a composite. I don't give a <laughs> How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation. For damages. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what you get when you no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense. Due recompense. What? Due, due recompense. <laughs> oh shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like uh, uh it's like uh. I think we've heard enough. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Take the lead. Here goes. Here he goes. Catch this. You God. Oh my god, dude. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm so <laughs> Watch this. Come on. <laughs> Not like I can just push their bodies around. Move, damn it! <laughs> oh, dude, they just play, play dead. <laughs> they're so stupid, but they're so much fun. And then they got the damn music, too. Jesus, man. That time. Away, you guys. Don't leave me. I'm coming. For some reason, every time you come through that little part, if your camera's pointed a certain way, the game will like auto correct you as soon as you get out of there. It's weird. It didn't do it that time. Oh, weird. It, it always does that, but it random didn't do it this question, time. But why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Mm. Da ah! ah! What we got here? <laughs> <laughs> Press me to test the toys. It says I'm Clodo! I didn't assess the boys! Oh, well, <gasps> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. So it's my turn? <laughs> no, 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 Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! This one's for you! Hey! Thunder this thing. Uh, too bright. <laughs> Mind backing off a bit. Oh, shit. Tagging out. Hey. All right. Here we go. Fucking 
music for oh, God. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, Aerith, you have to cure yourself because I don't have a cure. Come on. Not good. I'll take care of them. Okay, well, still hit Cloud. Still. There, last Mega Potion Club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Music! Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? Hot, dude. Yes, game. I am very aware of what I have to do. You have to. I think you have to do this arm first. Cloud. Aerith. <laughs> Isn't this magnifying? Could be wrong. I think this is the magnify material. I'm turning it the other way and it's going the other- <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> okay. God, man. Yeah, it is magnifying. Gotcha. Almost slipped and fell there for a second. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah, this is the timely part of this. Is that you have to get her off of here, put her back down on the floor, then move the container over there, and then you gotta move the other container over there, then you gotta put her on top of the container, then you gotta switch arms, then you gotta take her over there. Yeah, this is the this is the time-consuming part about this. About this one, anyway. Go down, game. Good, my bad. Alright, because now I gotta pick up the container again. Put it down there where the other yellow pill is. And then switch arms, put the container on there. Then switch arms again, then grab her, then put her up there, then switch arms again, then put her over on the other side. Oh shit. <laughs> My bad. Record music! Oh, I'm hidden from Okay. And then the game just like places it right there, even though it wouldn't let me do it right there. Whatever game, whatever. This is not the worst minigame in a video game, but still. <laughs> I think on first playthrough, this minigame is more annoying. On second, it's not so annoying. Because... On second playthrough, no materia spawns over there. So you don't really have to worry about taking Aerith over there and then all the, moving all the container stuff, so... It's actually easier on second playthrough. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I have to take her up. I have to put her on this thing now. And switch arms. Watch your head. I'm so glad that this doesn't reset later down the line of the game because it'd be such a waste of time. <laughs> so if you miss this magnifying material right here, you cannot get it back. Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder 
down for you if you miss this magnified material, you can't even get it back whenever you come through the game again. Or whenever you come through the game uh, layer in the story at this part. Obviously, if you do a second playthrough, you can obviously come back and get magnified, but if you don't the first time, you are you can't do it until you restart the game again. It's very important to get this materia. <laughs> this magnify is good for a lot of stuff. It's good for barrier, because if you can combine it with barrier, here, like, it's the same thing that essentially with elemental. So. Magnify is the same thing essentially that elemental does, but magnify increases everything. It can do, like, if I put this on, it'll do magnify wind. So you watch it. Like, it can go from target to target. That's the thing that, what magnify does when it comes to any of the spell ones, when it comes to, like, fire, lightning, ice, wind. Magnify revival, if you have multiple guys down, you can heal all of them. Uh, magnify cleansing, it's the same thing. If multiple people are poisoned in the party. If all three characters are poisoned, you can magnify cleansing. Magnify cure is one of the best ones to do. I usually do magnify barrier because barrier costs 11 to barrier costs 11 MP to do one. Having magnify barrier is good because it will give everybody barrier, but it will only take the amount of MP that would only be necessary for one cast. It's the same thing with everything too. So like if I did magnify lightning, it's only four MP to do that. So do magnify lightning only costing me four, but would hit three targets or more, three or more targets depending on what enemies are on the screen. So magnify works with green materia. It does not work with purple materia. There are some uh, blue that work with purple. So. What did I have on call it? Fire? That's just what magnify does if anyone's interested. Magnify is actually a really good materia. It's good cure and it's good uh, barrier. But you can use it for fire or lightning or anything too. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... No. Nope. Huh. I was like, ah, oh, no, you got me. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, love no, You want to pass through our territory? Then you got to pay the cost. Don't overdo it. So These guys are weak to magic too. One more shot. I'm waiting. Can you take over for me? This. Here we go. Enough. We made it. Smell the fresh <laughs> air. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they know what to say there. Sorry. I've had it to where right there before I've had all those guys pop out, and I've had Cloud like. I think I had elemental fire on him. I've had Cloud like decimate all four or five of them at once. It was good, dude. God. Cloud, up top. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the dialogue play out. Oh, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. And then cause fucking cloud. <laughs> he just barely does it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, man. There it is, the gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No, I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so 
Cloud. You were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Ah, this game. Cloud's mind blocks out the name. Mm. <laughs> I could say it, but I'm not going to. That's all I'm going to tell you is that Cloud's mind, his brain is blocking out the name that Aerith said. You know the name, good. But if you don't know the name, I'm not saying it. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. Not happening. <laughs> oh man dude I like the the funniest thing is this stuff watch this <laughs> you have Claude like mess with the equipment Ah, uh, dude. Item right here. Ether? Ether. Ether. <laughs> Aerith's just watching, she's patiently waiting. I'm coming. Sorry. Oh my god, the music, dude. God, man. Here. Hmm. This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home and if I said I wasn't I'll go with you I thought you needed to get back <laughs> don't worry I have a backup route for emergencies and it's safer too oh <laughs> yeah Earth only took the path to hang out with Claude more Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. You can't say no and she'll kind of say into something else, but um, let's just go ahead and go. Chickabo! Yeah! Sequel? Alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. 
But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, no you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! I'm going, hush! <laughs> yeah, that's Tifa's sporty dress, too, so. I have all of our dresses, too. I do like the exotic one, because I love the colors on them. I love the style of the dress, too. I'm sure one's not bad either, but I like her exotic one better. And this is the beginning for Walmart Geek to Earth. Okay, sorry, sorry. Not coming over, okay. Hey there, where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't yeah, need a ride, get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Okay, so remember, we're going for Cloud's white dress. So this is the start to where you start getting Cloud's white dress. So, we have to say that she is great at handling the books. She's great at handling it's the weird. books. It's weird. Cloud, I really don't think that'll help. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. <sighs> And there goes our best lead yet. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. <sighs> Oi. Okay. If you say the other option, like one of the other options, which is that if Tifa's in great shape, Aerith will like look at herself up and down. Like, really? What matters to you? <laughs> this delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. God, look at Wall Market. Wall Market is amazing, and their music is great too. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side, even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yeah, Walmart is basically like Vegas, 
mini sized. It's like a mini sized Vegas, essentially. Like I say, law does not exist here. Uh, basically doesn't exist that much in wall market you too yes you do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening we have the perfect room for a sweet looking couple like you no thanks how much back off no thanks but you thought about it didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> just give me a holler when you change your mind I like the other one that's like there in cloud. Uh, you can just straight up ask cloud how much or have him ask how much It's the funniest thing ever because Aerith's reaction is like <laughs> Hey there, we're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too The honeybee in thing right here. How you get this music disc You don't have I'm actually kind of low on potions Thanks a bunch uh, Hi, Earth. Here oh, wait, I think Chadley's here too, isn't he? You like a yeah, yeah, there's Chadley. What's the up, buddy? Wow. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. I want to see Chadley's stuff. I think we got everything that we need to get from you, correct? Uh. Oh. I'm actually gonna buy another steadfast block from you though. God, why is your other one 5,000? I hate that your stuff's so expensive. Okay. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it. Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a new look. summon. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. That guy, holy Jesus. Wait, so what's the, oh my God, we got, see, see, this is exactly why you do this stuff. I mean, this one you'll get automatically, it's not that big deal. Ooh, parry. Ooh, parry material is good, dude. I always use parry material on Tifa too. And see, this is why you need to assess everything too, because you get another one that's part three. I had a master material. That chocobo. ATB assist. Ooh, and I trigger refocus one more time. And then I just need to stagger 40 enemy types. So. What a... Am I using refocus right now? I am, okay. Good. I have to tell you that I'm... Tyler, just give me my stuff, my dude. I need that parry material, because I'll mainly use parry for Tifa. I've done it. I've developed... Parry, you can put parry on any of the characters, but I usually put parry on Tifa. Mainly, more than anything. Item Master, I'm gonna be honest, I don't use this materia very much. It just increases the effectiveness of items in battle. So like potions and phoenix downs, I think. Or anything else that you use that you can use in battle. I don't really use it that much, so I don't really see the point in it, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. But parry as well, I might buy another parry materia. Ah, wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I look forward to receiving all of your future battles. Nah, I'm going to do the fat chocobo. Fat invite you to ready your ah, portable battle done. simulator. Oh, my phone card. Actually, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Should be fine. Let's go beat a chicken. Let's go beat a chicken. Ah, it's a chicken. Oh, that fat chicken. No holding back. I don't know if I assess Shiva or not. Wait, that Chocobo is immune to poison and, and sleep. Well, good thing I don't have to sleep on. This one's for you. Let's get serious. The Moogle hooks. That's it. Ow. Cloud, do this! No! Oh, oh damn it, knocked me out of it. Get ready. Try it. Oh, that did not work. Okay. Did not work. Aerith, can you thunder this thing? That ate some of my MP as well. Oh, 
not happy about you eating some of my stuff. I might actually get one of my summons in here too. Ah, get out of it! God damn it! Boy, he's too fat for this dude. That's it. This one's for you. I'm gonna have Aerith summon Shiva. I don't have to, but I want to. It's your turn. Take it over. Try this. Stay back. Friggin' Carbuncle. Why is Carbuncle here? Carbuncle just gave us barrier. So much stuff! <laughs> Can you cure Cloud, please? Chicken. Bad chicken. No chicken. Bad chicken. Bad chicken. Here it comes. I ain't afraid of no chicken. Oh come on. Oh wait, staggered and she was doing this. Oh, this thing is dead. This thing is dead. There's gonna be no more chicken after this. <laughs> God! Thanks for my chicken! I'd keep my distance if I were you. Finish him off! Leave it to me. Stop healing the chocobo! They're everywhere! <laughs> There's a cactor! There's a cactor! Go on! Uh oh. Oh, okay. There was a cactor for a second. Can't hit me with that. Okay, say bye bye to your butt. Oh, wait, no, I need you to refocus. Gotta step it up. Ah! All right. Ah! Damn. God damn. All right, you come here. Oh, will you hit this thing, please? No Aren't you something now? Ah! Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Yes, I get it. One more shot. Kill them. Ah! 
I could have done a limit break there, but it's good to do refocus because it's already Truly done. Truly amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. <laughs> now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. Good, Chadley. Thank you. Got the refocusing. So, since we got the refocus one, it's the ATB assist. ATB assist is actually really good. So I'm going to put this on Cloud. Instead of refocus. But yeah, so now we have Fat Chocobo. I look Shut up! To all of your <laughs> Sorry, Chadley. Fat Chocobo's not bad. Gives you health and probably be better than Chocomog, so. But I'm going to put ATB assist on this, so. Once you use refocus, you build up the limit break, limit break gauge faster as well. But ATB assist is actually really good. Because whenever you use commands, it increases the ATB for your uh, partner. Okay. Let's go do what we need to do. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty here, ladies, shaped like oh, everybody's favorite chocobos. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. Okay. Nothing gets the blood pumping like a cop. Go do this first. He has a Don Corneo alive. Did you hear that? I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. This is Corneo's place as well. There's also, hang on, there's two things around Corneo's place that you can steal from him. And this guy definitely deserves it, so. He steal his ethers. And you can also take, I think, gill from him, too. I think there's a chest with gill in it. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, you can take, like, 20, uh, 1,200 gill from him, so. He ain't gonna miss it, it's fine. Corneo's not gonna miss it, it's fine. Leave him alone. He'll be fine. Shush. Scumbag deserves to get his stuff stolen from him, so. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah, so? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse <laughs> you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Bad. <laughs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Yeah, boyos. <laughs> okay. We gotta stop by a weapon shop before we continue or anything, so we can get the hard edge. I was, I was gonna get it before we did the Don Corneo deal, but it's fine.
Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> Johnny we're talking about, so no. Yeah, so the weapon shop is right here. And we need to come into here. Look at all the guns they have. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Mmm, I see. Yeah, this is where you get the hard edge. A great weapon, dude. I love this weapon so much. Also, there's also where you can buy... Ooh, that's actually good for Tifa. 3200, Jesus. That's her armlet. That's what Aerith already has on her. I could buy this for Aerith too and get her defense up. I could buy two of them. How much is it for two of them? E. Should I do this? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Do come again. I mean, because this way I can give her a little bit of buff on defense. I can give her a buff on her defense. It does take her magic defense down, but it gives her a buff on physical defense because Aerith's physical defense is not the greatest. No. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. And then Tifa. Go ahead and upgrade Tifa while we're here. Oh, and then I can go into this guy again. Welcome, come Shut up! In. Take a look. Take a look. Dude sounds like Tondra's voice actor too. Yep, sounds like Tondra's voice actor. But I can sell uh, these again too. Oh. I'm gonna sell these star bracelets because I don't need them. What is the iron bangle? Oh. And that. Okay. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, that sounds like Tondra's voice actor. Ah! Huh. I didn't even notice that until now. Wow. How did I not notice that until now? Oh my goodness. Okay. There is no increased materia slot for this one just yet, so. Uh, Cloud. Wait, what is it? What's on the last one? Stagger Siphon's actually really good. You recover HP uh, off of a staggered enemy with unique abilities, so it's like Punisher Stance, I think, for Cloud. Uh, let's do one of these. Go to here. Uh, let's do the Punisher Stance. And then... You know, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do on Cloud. Because he's got a pretty good buffed up magic right now, or... A physical attack, so let me get that magic quick, quick. And I can't do anything else. Artage is expensive. Uh, Materia-wise, also Aerith, we... I'm probably gonna go ahead and upgrade a guard stick again. And I might switch back to her guard stick for a bit. Is that a link slot or is it. Yeah. Oh, there's actually two here. You can only get one of them, though. Good to save up for. Uh, Aerith, though. What does he have? MP region. MP plus A, HP. Magic attack by 88 or 88? Jesus, no, by. Hmm. Well, let's get that magic defense. Because she does she is low on magic defense now. And then we can only do something else here, but I don't think I have anything else. Oh, the MP. I should go ahead and do that. That's the only two things I can do for her. <laughs> okay. So for Aerith, I'm gonna switch back to her. I'm just gonna switch back to her guard stick. Yeah. Um. Cloud. We're gonna switch to the hard edge. 
uh, fire, wind, poison, ATB, this. Do I still want to use wind material? I want poison. Uh, yeah, might as well. Aerith, you have healing barrier, lightning. Okay. Okay. Oh. I might actually put magnify something on cloud to cloud. Who has the most MP? Aerith does. So magnify barrier would actually be good on her. Ew. I could. I have to get rid of something though. I don't know, I'm trying to think. I could do fire elemental for now. Or fire magnifier synergy. Oh. Well, this is really the only one besides Aerith, because I could do something here, but if you put elemental in the accessory slot, it is defensive base. It's not, it doesn't work for attacks at that moment if it's in your equipment slot. It only works if it's in the weapon slot. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's either weapon, weapon deals damage, armor, it just prevents the damage from being done. Like, if you get this thing all the way to level 3, it absorbs whatever element you have attached to it. So, like, if I wanted to do a run of killing Shiva without, um, taking damage, I could. And this is just stagger effect, okay. Uh, I think we have to go talk to the guys now, so. Hey, I'm talking to you, I said they're good. Shut up! What are you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Hey, Johnny. I gotta remember how to do Not this. You again. Told you once, I'll tell you about oh, I have to avoid... Oh. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Yeah, I have to avoid Johnny's stuff. Why get Cloud's white dress. Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. You have to say... And this, well, everything I'm gonna do here is just strictly for Cloud's white dress, so you have to say no deal to this. You have to, you have to say she's great at handling the books, no deal. Avoid Johnny's stuff, so like how the main story stuff is, you can do that, but any like discovery quests that involve Johnny, don't do them. You have to avoid those. Uh, you have to get the best massage, and I think that's it. Yeah, you have to do Madam M's side quest too. So no deal. No thanks. This oh, is the most complicated I'm one to get. Gambler, the other two aren't hard. I am heads. Huh? Get his blue dress. You can do anything to get his black dress. Just don't do any side quests. Deal. It's actually pretty easy. This one's the only complicated dress. <laughs> hey, you don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Cornell's cup of tea. But, if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just a meal. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> 
trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Fire. Okay. I uh, think we have to go. I think it's Madame M next. I'm wrong. I love that each district is different in the music, too. I think it's Madame M's one is more like of an Asian type. I like the theme here more. There's something downright wrong with this place. I get a lot. I guess they're closed right now. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go to the Honeybee Inn. There is this here too, the interior shop. Oh wow, really? What are you doing? See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Well, I'm trying to see what you got. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, you can come by binding and subversion, I think, later. Okay. I was wrong. I just didn't know if you could actually come and get them. My bad. Okay. I don't need it right now. Thanks, buddy. I didn't buy anything from you. Shut up. I'm sorry, Eric. So we gotta go to the honeybee. Oh, this place is full up too. I swear. Oh. I feel guilty. That's not fair, right? Oh yeah, because Johnny's over here. This the place? Yeah, I think so. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. <laughs> We're called. He's like, ah, oh, you're right. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honeybee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hmm. Now we go back to Madame Man. Oh, <laughs> the honey girls are watching Claude. You bet I am. This is I know why you're here. To golf with the honey girls, right? As if you're not here to golf with the honey boys. Hmm. Nope. Oh, wait, we can go up here. Yeah. Actually, there's a music disc up here, too, so it's a good thing we came up here. Sorry about that. I can't believe I bought the same thing. Cloud! Excuse me. If you like, you can have it. I was like, just stick it in my back pocket. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've never seen him turn around. Get away! Yeah, wait. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> I can't talk to him at all, though. That was the best 
nothing that's ever been done to me. My sweet, sweet Madam M. I'm a customer for life. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. She'll do something with her hands. It's a pleasure to relieve our patrons of that <laughs> tension. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. Oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <laughs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So. Which course I have 9,000 gil. I have to do the luxury course for this dress. I have to. The funniest <laughs> one, to be honest. Then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First. The hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Why she gotta make it so Let's seductive? With the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> Then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flow. Mm. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure. Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> Aerith is walking in place, you hear? If that was to your liking, <laughs> do come again. Right. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. Think you'll make a habit of it? <laughs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. <laughs> Shh. 
sure you're okay? Yeah. God, dude. The other, like... Oh, Cloud, your sword's gone through the wall. The other ones, too. Cloud, like, comes out with, like, gripping his hand, and he's acting like... And he's all injured. It's funny. <laughs> you're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. The poor <laughs> man's the one. World, it's the poor man that? one, dude. God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really? But... You cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Oh, what do I say Doing here? Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? Oh, crap! What do I choose? Crap! I don't remember which one I choose! <laughs> I don't remember this one. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember if I say it's all right. If it looks comfortable, it matter. Oh, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Because this matters for Cloud. This does not matter for Aerith. I think I just say the top one. I think I just say the top one. It's all right, I guess. I. <laughs> oh, you. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. After you so, just made Cloud you moan in the, the back room. <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting into the she says tournament. it's so seductive. If you <laughs> win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. It's me. Um... Eric, stop walking in place. <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too confident. Oh my god, there's so many people talking. Everyone, shut up! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> The doors are now open for tonight's mm -hmm. Corneo Cup. Spectator, please form a line. I hope I did that right, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, dude. Oh. I don't think I can. Can I talk to this guy right now? Everybody knows I've got the best Coliseum souvenirs Oh, okay. Come on. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. <laughs> All right, team it is. Eric's got a stern look on her face, too. She said, board. hell no. I'm going with you. You already got to enjoy one thing in this area. I didn't. <laughs> down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I'll heal him when we get down here. I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. There's a little deal there where if if it if one of her idol animations actually takes place that while she's talking like that and she says if she asks Cloud if he's nervous, I've gotten it and I've even seen it to where she'll like turn her head to the side as she's as if she's embarrassed. <laughs> it just depends on what idol animation plays. I was hoping it would have played there, dude. Because it's so funny. In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. Who all market? To you as Dean Kaiser as a chaos and bloodshed. We bid you the world. Love Walmart, dude. 
Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the longer way to vision with the blood star beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Corneo Time! Wow, this place is really something. <laughs> yeah. So I need to go heal them. This is a good thing to do. This is what people need to do every time. Anytime that there's a pause in the fight, come to the bench to heal. Even if... Even... If it's just a little bit a little bit come to the bench and heal you're definitely gonna need it and always and i mean all even in hard mode well not in hard mode you don't have to worry about hard mode items because you can't use items in hard mode but always in between fights come and check this because there are sales on everything here 100 i mean you literally can for 100 gil buy all that stuff when it's like 300 to 500 a pop so, Mega potions are alone are 1200 gil when you can actually buy them. It is definitely worth it. You've got to come and just see. You don't need to buy any materia or nothing, but that's up to you too. It's up to your place though. So yeah. <laughs> you don't have to, but you can always come in here and check on the opponent too, or whoever lost the fight. This is the only instance you have to talk to Johnny. You get Cloud's white dress. Oh. This is the only thing you have you to talk to Johnny because this is a story-focused oh, conversation. I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries, and well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but. If you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to yeah, the gate. Poor Johnny. We're in way too deep to back out now. Oh yeah, and then you got this thing. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it. And they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Uh, no. You can do it and Cloud will drink the whole thing. Aerith will scold him for it, but you don't really need it. It doesn't really affect you at all. You two ready? Eat. Try not to get yourselves killed. Music here's amazing. Best, we bro. welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day. <laughs> this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Woo! Get out! Go home! You suck! <laughs> couple, get out of here with that lovey-dovey bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challenges before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The sanguine stalkers! <laughs> You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? Who gets so good? <laughs> in an instant, so don't even blink. Now see how fainty these dogs are. The fourth match of the first round begins now. Mr. 
That's it, clown. Okay, they are all weak to ice except for homeboy. Take the lead. Here goes. This one's for you. He dead. You've got this. Go on. Come on. I got them both. Let's Woo! Going in. Bye bye, doggies. Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming. What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winner of our I'm not that. Damage to either, so I could probably just do potions here. But when it comes to checking everything, I'm still gonna check the areas for the fails. Well, that's one win down. Go team. Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match. Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. So, one thing I will say about the Corneo Coliseum, and whenever you get to the combat simulators later down the line of the game, every time that you win, the characters do their victory poses from the original Final Fantasy VII. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin oh, shortly. That chair just glitched to the door. Please make your way to the gate. I say, and then after a while, you get a bunch of flowers that show up too. But yes, always come here because I don't. I'm out of mega potions. So, so. okay. Alrighty, now we're good to go. So these fights aren't hard either, and I could go talk to homeboy in there, but I don't really care. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? E. Just remember, try not to die. Oh, yes, thank you for the sound advice. <laughs> for the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Aaron. Drop of my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Their opponents, the Reavers in this backyard. Thieves and killers through and through. Too criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches this town of Walmart gets Bex Benefits. Now I can assess him. Assess him. God, this is the best thing about having assess all the way maxed out because it does everything. It does everything. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Uh, one more shot. Need more magic. Here it comes. This one's for you. Alright, 
All right, Claude, let's do something new. Fuck you! The fourteen thousand. Fourteen hundred. Ignore the fact that I said fourteen thousand. Mind backing off a bit. Grenade incoming! One more shot. Bye bye. Hey, you asked for it. Okay, Eric, cure yourself, please. Can you take over for a bit? Stop move! Go on! Boys! There we go. God, Cloud. It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly put a lot, but somehow the winners of our match are... Once again... Cloud! Use the ether on him. Aerith. I'm gonna try to use items to heal him because I have too many items. So. I'm gonna end up using all my items. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Okay, back to this. I uh, spent a mega potion. Okay. And then all you have to do is just wait for them to announce you. And you go. Need to use barrier more since Aerith has barrier. Cloud and I have a barrier on her. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Yeah. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. I hate when people are like that. Like, I'm betting on you. Ladies That's what I lose. <laughs> our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the flight! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and... That's Mike is not even connected to his shirt. <laughs> yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes out the trash with a vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutting and sleeping! Come on! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for my guarantee to go down in history! The, the 
final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Hey, it's Gary, no robot. <laughs> ah, it's Gary, no robot! <laughs> Get ready. Harris, you're gonna have to do lightning on these things. Ah, shit. Try using it. All right, boy, you want to go? It's oh, come here. Get the, get the right one. Right. You. I'll, I'll do it again. Okay. I gotta get her out of there. Okay, she can't use that, so you seem like a potion? Keep it up. Go on! Ah! Can you handle them? Take it over. But you are almost dead too, dude. Second Taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on the toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad Actually news. kicking stuff around. But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets. Much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo is going to milk this for as much as he can. <laughs> <laughs> you face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice. And only then will you be declared I can't take her team. seriously when she kicked me a chair. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You greedy like you seriously. bastard. Scum sucking piece of shit fester asshole. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the chair. The chair makes it worse. That's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules. Oh my god. Happen. But if you win this match, Corneo the chair makes it worse. to accept your victory. <laughs> And the crowd <laughs> and the sure does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Oh, now now the chair wants to be quiet after the dialogue's all done. Okay, chair. Whatever. All right, Claude. Aerith needs ether. Again, I don't have to do that. I could just use the bench, but still. I don't want to. See, now you get three. Okay, now, this fight you actually have to prepare for. This fight, I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet, but you have to have one of every element between Cloud and Aerith. Cause like, okay, 
fire affects ice and ice affects fire so it's vice versa wind affects lightning lightning affects wind keep that in mind so i would usually do this i put fire wind on cloud for Aerith. oh i've got to get rid of something i'm not using prayer right now i'm not using it right now i end up using everything else more um i'm going to put on lightning ice on Aerith. okay so Aerith has lightning ice I still almost leveled up too. Is healing and barrier. I'm gonna keep barrier because why not? Cloud has fire and wind and poison. You don't really need poison for this because I don't think this thing can be poisoned. So I'm gonna give Cloud a healing material. I'm gonna give it his the one that Tifa has because Tifa doesn't need to be healed. Uh, you're gonna keep assess. You're also gonna keep ATB assist. You're gonna keep your magic up. So, all right. That's how we have it set up. Because this fight is not, not a joke. If you don't go into this fight prepared, you will lose. I'm not telling you what it is. The game, I'm not the game tell, tell you, all you what, what we're fighting, but... Hope your next match is even better than the last. It's... It's... Ready to kick ass? Deadly. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Cloud! Cloud! Over here! Hmm. Look at them! They're so adorable! You're the man, Cloud! Aaron, I love you! <laughs> Their opponent, buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! why you don't use elemental or synergy. Aerith has ice. Get out of that? No way. This one's for you. Don't catch a cold. Uh oh. I got you. Well said. There's one thing that didn't work. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. Alright, so it's green, so it's uh lightning affected. What lightning? Take the lead. I'll take care of them. Oh wait, 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 hang on. That's all right, this thing. Cool. Wait. <laughs> it's almost disappointing. No. Not yet. I love this fight. Gentlemen, what is happening? Oh, boy, dude. What the? Look out. Can you take over for me? 
She needs it. Oh, the box is here. And I have to. Ah! Oh, I just hit Blizzard on it, and it was already Blizzard. -y. My bad. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm. Broke that barrier too. God dang. Jesus. Wait for it. God, man. in some way. What will you do? Hmm. <laughs> mm. 